Hello, my name is Devendra Sitran, and I'm a student in the Cisco Networking Academy at Thomas Edison Career and Technical Education High School, located in New York City, United States. Today I will be showing you how to install Cisco Packet Tracer on a Chromebook. Before we begin, if you are using a Chromebook managed by an administrator, please complete the steps in part one of this video. If your device is not managed, proceed to part two. Starting off, navigate to Google Admin Console at the following URL. From the Admin Console, select Devices on the right side of the window. Under Device Settings on the left side, select Chrome Management. Under Chrome Management, select Device Settings. On the left side, select the organizational unit where your devices are located. Moving to the right of the screen, under the Enrollment and Access section, look for the Force Re-Enrollment setting. Select the option to force device to automatically re-enroll into the domain after being wiped. Click the Save button to finalize the change. Moving down, find the User Data option under Sign-in Settings. Change the setting to Do Not Erase All Local User Data. Click the Save button to finalize the change. Moving down, find the virtual machine settings under other settings. Change the setting to allow usage for virtual machines needed to support Linux apps. Click the Save button to finalize the change. All the necessary changes have been made to Google Admin Console. Welcome to part 2 of this tutorial. Here we will learn how to install Packet Tracer on your Chromebook. Let's start by clicking the circle icon at the bottom left corner of your screen. In the search box, type Settings and click the Settings icon. When in the setting application, select the About Chrome OS option from the left side menu. To the right of the version number, you will see a button to check for updates. Select this button to check for system updates, which are required for this tutorial. Chrome OS is up to date, you can close the setting application. If it is not, update your Chrome OS and then proceed with this tutorial. Next, open up Google Chrome and navigate to netacad.com. Select the Login button at the top right of the screen. Log in to Netacad using your Cisco account. Hover over the Resources tab on the top of the screen. Select the Download Packet Tracer option from the menu drop-down. Download link under Linux Desktop Version 7.3.0 English. Navigate to the top of the screen and click the plus button to open a new tab. Navigate to the bit.ly shown on screen to download one out of the two scripts needed for this tutorial. Select the download link at the top right of the window. 
Navigate to the top of the screen and click the plus button to open a new tab. Navigate to the bit.ly shown on screen to download the second out of the two scripts needed for this tutorial. Moving to the second bit.ly, select download link at the top right of the window. You can now close the web browser and begin to install Packet Tracer. Click the circle in the bottom left corner to bring up the search bar. Type settings in the search bar and select the settings icon to open the settings application. In the settings application, select the Linux beta option from the left side menu. Select Turn On and then the Install button from the Linux Beta options. From here, Linux will be installed on your Chromebook. For tutorial purposes, we have sped up this process. After the install is completed, the terminal application will open automatically. Do not close this window because we will be needing it later. Once Linux is finished installing, Select the circle icon at the bottom left of the screen. From the search bar, type in files and select the files application icon to open it. Once in the files application, we will be moving the files that we downloaded earlier to the Linux folder. Begin by navigating to the downloads folder and dragging each file over to the Linux folder as shown in this example. Once you drag the files over to the Linux folder, you can monitor the status of the transfer in the lower right corner of the files application. Once the file transfer is over, close the files window and return to the terminal window. Returning to the terminal window, execute the following command on the screen to execute the first script. First command is to enable the execution of the script. Second command is to actually run the command and start installing Packet Tracer on your Chromebook. While the script is running, it may require user intervention, such as typing a certain key to continue the script. When prompted with a question if you would like to continue, press the Y key and click Enter to continue. The execution of the script has been sped up for tutorial purposes. Part of the script is downloading material that Packet Tracer needs to run. When prompted with the Cisco Packet Tracer software license agreement, click the E key to continue and the Y key to accept it. Once accepted, the first half of the installation will begin. When prompted for the second time with the software license agreement, perform the same steps to continue. This is the final installation step for Packet Tracer to be installed on your Chromebook. After the installation is completed, to add the icon to the shelf, you must run Packet Tracer at least once. 
type the packet tracer command as shown on the screen to launch packet tracer for the first time. Once packet tracer has launched, you must sign in with your Cisco account to begin usage. Sign in using your Cisco account to start using Cisco Packet Tracer. Close all windows from the previous steps to proceed with the next step. Navigate to the circle icon in the lower left side of your screen. In the search box, Type Terminal and click on the Terminal Application icon to open Terminal. Type the following commands shown on screen to execute the second script. The icon for Packet Tracer should be added to the shelf automatically. If the icon is not pinned to the shelf automatically as shown in this example, navigate to the search bar and look up Packet Tracer. Right click on the Packet Tracer icon and click Pin to Shelf. Once Packet Tracer has been added to your shelf, you can single click on it to launch Packet Tracer. You have successfully installed Packet Tracer on your Chromebook. Thank you for watching this tutorial on installing Packet Tracer on your Chrome OS device. To leave feedback, fill out the form linked in the description.